I'm here with John Anderson, who is our new music director. He's been here at URC for several months, so so glad that you're here. So really important question. So it, it, did you just not shave today, or has this been working on it, or is just... This is my five o'clock shadow, for sure. Five o'clock shadow, no. very gifted. It, it might be about a week's Okay, work. about a week. Well, it looks good, it looks good. Okay. I don't know if pastors can get away with it, but the, the music director. So, um, You've been here for several months, but we still want people to get to know you and um, know who you are, know a little bit more about you. So just a few quick questions. You came from Hawaii. What in the world were you doing in Hawaii? And why did you leave Hawaii? We're so glad you did, but why? Uh, well, we were in Hawaii on an extended honeymoon. We knew it would end sometime. <laughs> we weren't quite ready for it to end, but we grew up in Michigan. We thought Michigan was our home. We knew we'd come back here, wanted to be close to our family and probably settle here to have kids and thought if there was a great church we could be part of, we would probably make our way back. Well, we're so glad that you did. Um, people always think it's crazy when I tell them our new music director came from Hawaii. <laughs> you said we, so you're married. Tell us about your much better half. Happily married for sure. Um, well, my wife is Brittany. She goes by Britt, though. She is a great gift to me. God has been very kind. She's a nurse. She currently works at Sparrow. She's organized and funny and smart, and we, we love to adventure together, traveling, and just goof off. <laughs> and how has the transition been? I mean, you're a very kind, sweet couple, but you still you moved across the whole you know, hemisphere to be here. What's it been like? It's been good, honestly, because URC is just such a great church congregation, such a loving body of people. And also coming back to be close to family, there's been a lot of exciting things for us. But, you know, we do miss Hawaii and uh, we'll probably go back and visit every once in a while. But I think the transition has been as good as could be expected for the temperature change. That's great. You're obviously very good at playing the piano. Can you play anything on the piano <laughs> and everything? <laughs> That would be nice. Uh, Rachmaninoff? Some Rachmaninoff. Okay. He's, you know, got quite a repertoire, so. Yeah, well, so do you. And I, so we're looking forward to, to hearing that at some point. I'm looking forward to playing that on this piano. That's a nice piano to do it. Now, one of the things that's, that I've really enjoyed in working with you these few months is obviously you're really good at music, but John, you're just very down to earth, humble, eager to learn, theologically minded, it's just great. Say a little bit, when you came here, you, you didn't want the title worship director, but music director. Uh, and that was your idea, and it was, we're really glad you mentioned that. What was your thought behind that? Um, I definitely think that there can be a misconception that worship is just the time of music yeah. in the service, and I do believe that Worship is from the beginning to the end, as is all of life worship, you know. So I didn't think that my role really was to be the worship director at URC, but to just be involved in the musical part of that and then whatever that entailed. So um, just kind of wanting to express what I thought my role would be. And worshiping with the saints here at URC now for several months, what's, what's the, the big first impression that strikes you? Great singing. Good. passionate people, um, an acceptance of new things and a love of traditional at the same time. Um, and every Sunday is a blessing. You know, we just get filled up by God's grace every, every time we're here. That's great. Okay, last question. You lead others in worship. That's part of what you do and do it well. But most important is that you are a worshiper. What do you do? What feeds your soul? Not so much to lead, but to be a worshiper of Christ? I think just remembering the goodness and the grace of God, because quite honestly, I only can come into the presence of the Father mm. through the Son and through His blood. And you know, you look back at your life, you've made a lot of mistakes. You know, you don't deserve to be in the presence of an almighty God, but in His love, He beckons us to worship Him. And I think I'm just wowed by that mercy and that grace every time I think about it. John, we are so glad that you and Britt are doing life and ministering among us. Thank you. Thank you.